Hello everyone, it is I, Devin Lionheart. You don't know me, you know who I am, I'm a YouTuber now. Get used to it. Um, just check out my recording and stuff. For, and I know I should do that before the freaking video. But, uh, <laughs> gotta make sure everything's, uh... Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Gotta make sure of that. Now, uh, without further ado... Today we're watching one of three videos that I'm planning to react with Mouse. Uh, first is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Social Hierarchy Explained. Uh, next, what your playmat says about you. And finally, um, your favorite yu gi -Tuber, or What they say about you. So, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get this on with you. Because, like, Mal, Mal, uh, I'm going to be real with you. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Indeed. So, yeah. Uh, let's get started. And uh, one, uh, two, and uh, one, two, three, four, three. Yeah. Back for some more original content that no one else has Oh done. god, like my speaker's video, interfering. We are going to be discussing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, that's AI. loud. From the absolute bottom of the barrel to those you should bow your head Okay, that's for. better. That's <laughs> better. Um, that's decreased. I have my speakers going on in the background. I'm sorry, everyone. I am so sorry. From the bottom we have As, uh... Okay. Don't get me wrong. Still gotta, still gotta listen to this stuff. The Yu-Gi-Oh! anime is perfectly reasonable. Don't okay. Don't let me get in the way of your fun. Now it becomes problematic so, when you bring their actions and voice lines to the real world. I draw. I activate my track card. You fool. I activate super polymerization. Hmm. This card allows me to, and then you read the whole card text as if no one knows what okay. super polymerization does. Okay. It is this cringe and bad representation hmm. of other Yu-Gi-Oh players that has earned this group this low rank okay so anime players he's uh ranked them at the lowest uh i wouldn't say they're like the absolute lowest i admit they're not the best uh they reenact a lot of things in the anime because it comes from their memory and like a lot of people when they first go to locals they're like okay so like this is how things are done in the anime maybe i should do it in the real world uh, uh, no, you shouldn't. Now, I admit, if you want to read the card text and tell them what to do, make sure you read it accurate. You know what it says accurately. Um, do not go with the anime effects. Do not, do not, I, I do not. And, uh, uh, by the way, if you, uh, if you run a god card in your deck, especially Winged Dragon and Raw, and somebody asks you at your locals to, like, um, uh, Say the Winged Dragon a raw chant and you really don't know it, or you do know it. Don't! Don't! Don't do that. You get singled out for that stuff. Yeah, my personal experience, do not do that. Don't. Just, just, just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Uh... Just don't. And any of the chance at the tournament store, even if you got your own chance, I highly suggest you don't. Highly suggest you don't for your for your uh, own career and safety. Now, uh, let's get on, cause like legacy apologists. These are some of the most annoying people in the entire community. Okay. Like those who complain about being born in the wrong generation, this group of sickos constantly boast about their okay. old formats being superior to modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sure Goat, okay. Innocent, Ruler, Tier, Pepe, Format, whatever format you play, are interesting experiences into Yu-Gi-Oh's mm, Okay, so and format players. Uh, oh, ho, ho. And of course, a new experience for people that are bored of modern. But you okay. Show everything, and you constantly insult people who play modern just because it's not your format. Then we got a problem. Okay, so like, format duelist or um, like this. Uh, I've I met 
I've met uh, I've met a couple. I used to be one. I used to be one because like uh and I've learned from my mistakes. I have. Uh but I've never played a tournament format. I mostly played like anime formats back in the day. Uh uh not the best light. Not the best light. But uh I will admit uh these claiming like goat format or a uh, or a uh, you know certain formats like in general uh and I complain that these were better than the ones we have now uh possibly I'm not in that argument I'm not in the field of that argument saying that one was better than the other because I've only been in like professional tournament play for seven years. Uh, seven years going on, just about soon, after September. Or, like, after August, actually. I think it's August. I think it's August when I started, like, playing professionally. I started playing, like, I started, like, casual playing with friends. Um, I think it was December 25th. Yeah, December 25th, 2003. God, I feel old. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these players right here, I will admit, um, complain a lot about the current state of play and they just want the glory days back and if, if you go into the tournaments and like you were part of the glory days you want that back just just don't just don't it, it doesn't give you a good light problem a word of advice stay in your lane and take a 1984 to the mouth next up uh why with the gun why with the gun I get like it happened in like the uh, the Japanese, my dude. The, the, uh, but why with physical violence? Why why threaten your uh, people with a gun? Okay, so like dual disc, I'm okay with cards. Well, I'm okay with hey, probably go with like the OG um dual disc kingdom dual disc that Kaiba developed. That would be okay. Gun? 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 You absolute dingus! Moving on. We have content creators, specifically those on YouTube. Channels. Oh, now, oh this is shots fired. Shot, 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 fired. Oh, no. He's, he's going after. experience or just pure entertainment. And of course, there are the other content creators who exclusively post okay. stream moments. Exclusive. Now, don't get me wrong, recycling okay, so like there's a third content creator you didn't cover uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. There's people that do streams of their, like, of a certain way, and then they do videos another way. You didn't cover that. that, 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 that that's, that's no bueno. That's, that, that's no bueno. By the way, I will mention this is my second time, like, or second or third time, like, redoing this one video. One video. Second or third time. Moments as standalone videos that they as uh, my my files are getting corrupted and I don't know why. But it has come to this very glaring stipulation. If you watch a single one of their Twitch streams, you've pretty much watched the next three months of their content already. Not so true. Not, not all of them. There, there, there's a there's a, really there's a cool slight majority that are like okay, so like content. you see what but it's on my Twitch streams, so low and then there's something different on my YouTube uh videos. You to like and subscribe. Or all together. Opinion, this is a very selfish act. Why would anyone want to spend one of their trillion clips? Uh, that's not selfish. That's not selfish. Dude. That's not selfish. Stop it. You know me. No, you don't. I like to be reasonable. Stun players. Like content Stun creators, players. Stun players can be a mixed bag. You could have a god oh, I'm the bane of their existence. More than you do. I am the bane of stun players' points of existence. You could also get the stun players who are PP pee -pee bad at the game, and they flip all the floodgates in the standby phase. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's bring up some of those floodgates. Um, summon limit. There's better cards other than summon limit. Skill drain. 
Okay. Okay. I mean, like, it's still, it's still somewhat good, but it, it's not the best. Oh, uh, Royal, um, I think that's like Royal Taxation. Uh, okay. Nobody, nobody plays that in stun decks anymore. Microcosmos. Nobody plays Microcosmos anymore. But there can only be one. There's three here that stun players play these days. Uh, the other two, Microcosmos, not anymore. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, Royal Taxation. Mm, 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 mm. No, 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 no one plays that anymore. Uh, it doesn't help out. These three, yes. Now, uh, as far as uh, stun players go, I'm the bane of their existence. Okay. It's like, they play those? If they play those five cards face down, it doesn't matter if they flip them face up right away or they're just face down on the field. I run cards like Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay, yeah, Rachel, I'll contact you later, baby. Um, there's a Dark Magic Attack I, be, I keep in my deck. Lightning Storm. Um, that's just the name of few, like, back row blowouts that can take care of this issue. Lightning Storm is at two. Harpy's Feather Duster is at one. But Dark Magic Attack is at three. And in Dark Magicians, I am freaking king. Okay? Stun players? They don't want none of this. You, you, you don't want none of this smoke. You, you don't. You don't want this smoke, boys. Boys, you don't want this smoke. To show off and then leave when a twin twister is dropped on the right flood. Uh, Unfortunately, yes, on the right cards. If twin twister is played on the right cards, all yes. All their win condition is all the same, making you, the opponent, rage quit. It is this toxic win condition <laughs> that has earned this player base this low rank. Combo players. Please okay, combo players. What shots he's taking at us? Um, or like people like us. Like no tomorrow and trying to explain that it's a set in stone basic combo. Mm -hmm. Summoning a ton of monsters uh -huh. is definitely a fun experience. However, it is this freedom that causes this big stipulation that pushes combo players out of the higher ranks. Their hmm. constantly swelling ego. Combo players okay. be the most okay. toxic egos. you -Oh. Egos on combos. Okay, so I gr I admit we're a very creative bunch. Combo players are very creative. But, uh... Ego! I can have an ego. But, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I know how to keep it in check when I want to. But th there's a difference with certain players. And he's not bringing up the full facts about ego players. Uh, or combo players with egos. So, like, any player can have an ego. I don't care what this guy says. Any player can have an ego. And they can be very cocky. Now, here's my explanation on combo players. There's some of the... Yes, there is a few that is quite egotistical. But there's some of the most well-informed. And they can be some of the friendliest. There's some, a very few, that is very high ego. This guy's probably dueled against them online. That's it. He's never played against a combo player at a locals. I tell you, if this guy dueled me against my Dark Magician deck, with the current meta, or like the current, current ban list, let's put it as ban list, the current rules, with my Dark Magicians, this, this guy would be crying in a corner. He would, he would be crying in a corner. Not in Master Duel. But in the tabletop game. This guy, after I beat him with the Dark Magicians, with Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, with Dark Cavalry, with Master of Chaos, when Constellar Knight 7, I mean Constellar... Or, uh, Calamity's 7. I Let me double check my Magician's extra deck. Uh, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Constellar, Calamity, M7. Utopia Beyond. 
god dang big eye red eyes dark flare dragon the light and dark charmer link monsters Sling, queen of master magicians access code talker quintet uh, but, uh, basically just about every card in my sally deck uh this guy would not have a fun time uh, after i beat him and that's just my side deck my actual deck is the worst nightmare <laughs> My extra deck is something, but my main deck, that's where the real prize is inside, kids. And, like, this guy would be crying in the corner. He would be crying in the corner. Players always calling out and I'm not saying I don't have an ego, but I do. I know how to keep it in check, and, and I know how to no state the fact. 50,000 step combo, which theoretically functions as a single floodgate at the end. All I can say to that is chill out. And now... We come to hmm. control players. I can all control players. players. Oh, oh, keyboards oh keyboards those down below. See, you're already proving my previous point. Control players choose not to be a monkey brain stun user. No offense, but instead of using a 50,000 <sighs> combo, it is control like players. A oh, okay, so like maybe three alterations. It ends on a few disruptions, which opens the possibility for back and forth play. These players want to play Yu Gi Oh with someone else instead of themselves. Do you want to use normal trap cards like Burning Abyss or Trap Tricks? Do you want to use monsters like Salomon Grave or Marincess? It is this lack of a swelling ego and enabling back and forth play that has earned control players this high rank. And fight. Uh, control players. Really? Really? The control players. Um, he says control players have no ego. That they, uh, that they're kind individuals. Um,. That they hold the core stable of like the overall like uh overall foundation on their shoulders. <sighs> you you little cat you you. They don't. They don't. I don't care what this guy says right now about uh, uh control players. He he's missing the point. Yes, control players. Uh, they make you believe you're in control. That you're having a fun time. But in actuality, they are in control the whole time. Every single moment, they are in control. They have the vertigo. They have the power. They have the control. They're only letting you get away with that. Because it amuses them. And when your attempts amuse them, that shows their ego. But more than that, they've got a gambler face, okay? These are people that have gambler faces that will not let you know, oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Because I got the perfect counter. And you'll never pick it up. You'll never pick up that they got the perfect counter. Unless, you know, they actually have an ego. And they don't know how to have a gambler face. But most of these players have a gambler face. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This, this guy does not get control players. This guy, right here, you, you, Mao, or Meow. Um, control players? Please. They have the biggest egos of all. And if anything, you're being controlled. Finally, the ones you must worship. These people single-handedly keep the game alive, not only to actual Yu-Gi-Oh players, but even the masses who don't oh. play Yu-Gi-Oh and unironically pay for the New York Times. I'm talking <laughs> about collectors, retro cards, collectors, cards, legendary cards, replica reprints. Okay, so let me let me hit you a bit of a bit of knowledge on collectors. So you know, like how I said, every player has an ego. Okay, compared to like everything he's pointed out beforehand, these guys have the biggest, most massive ego, the size of god dang Jupiter. Jupiter. You know, the largest planet in the Milky Way. You! 
just don't get it. This 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 man. And he and you even if he he's a man, this cat boy. Let's put him as a cat boy. Um collectors have the biggest egos because they're like, oh, oh, look, look at the guy with all the ultra rares. Oh, that's funny. Do you have a sacred rare? Or do you even have a collector's rare? Or by any chance, do you have a starlight rare? Or have you ever got one in your entire existence? <laughs> oh, this is so adorable. He thinks because he's got all the super rares and ultra rares that he could ever want, that he's important, that he's people. Um, collectors have the worst ego known to man. You. 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 Do not get it. As I used to be a massive collector's ego. As a matter of fact, I have a magician girl, dark magician girl, from Magician's Force, limited edition. I wear it around my neck wherever I go because that's my adopted daughter. You. You don't know how much of an ego I get for just owning that one card. And I take pride in that fact. And that gives me a bit of an ego complex. You! Now, there's another side of this story. So, like, when it comes to collectors, there's two types of collectors. There's one, the collectors that he points, um, collects everything for the sake of, like, their collection or the game on their shoulders, whatever. But then there's the other collector. The other collector that collects the rare cards out of the packs and just when he wants to, he sells them. He sells them because he doesn't want the card. And he just wants money. But that's that's the other side to collectors. Um some collectors. So there's two sides. There's the ones that are like massive egotistical. And think they're better than everyone else because they got all the high rarities. Technically, they can go to both sides. And then there's the other side that just keep the massive rarities just to sell them. And get a fortune. Prove me wrong, Mao or Meow or whatever. Cat boy, prove me wrong. In actuality, you can't. It's impossible, you can't. This guy's never, he, he's never, never been to a tournament store. He's never been to a tournament store. Ever. And this is me talking about this. I'm educating y'all people. I am doing y'all a service and educating y'all on like how unique all these players are. Every Yu-Gi-Oh player has an ego. It doesn't matter. Now, I will admit there is one player. You probably missed. People keep artifacts. This game has spawned in safekeeping. Preserving uh -huh. the gems that tell the stories of this game's history is like doing the Lord's work. They probably play the game, and they probably Lord's don't. Yeah, and yeah, if they sure, don't, sure. you sure, know what? Sure. That's kind of fate. And now it's time for me to act like a content creator and ask you to... Okay, so... Woo! Okay, so... Mao. I already gave you a dislike earlier on this video. I'm not going to change that. Um, there is one player he has missed. The meta player. Okay? These are people that go with decks that always win. This guy's obviously never fought a meta player before. Or a dual to meta player. Uh, meta players are the most toxic players. They're prideful. They're arrogant. They're cocky. They got an ego. They're opinionated. And if anything, in their eyes, if you're not playing meta, well, you're doing everything wrong. Yeah, he didn't cover the meta thing, I'm guessing, because, like, um, obviously, he uh didn't want to put up with that. He didn't want the meta players to come after him on Master Duel. 
Massive pussy! <laughs> so you can't handle a few meta decks. Okay, bet. Bet. Um. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. How? What experiences y'all have had in the Yu-Gi-Oh community as a player? Uh, also taking an effect. Like. And subscribe to me and don't forget to do this for our meow our mal uh you know this guy right here and maybe i can get a live stream with this guy like a, a duel with him on master duel maybe i can do him a master duel one day who knows who knows i i doubt it but uh yeah mal uh meow uh whatever uh cat boy if 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 you want to befriend me on a master duel? A search up YGO DLH on master duel or Commander Devin Commander uh, DLH. Actually, it's Commander DLH now. Um, search me up on master duel Commander DLH or like you know Commander DLH on like duel links. We'll duel it out because like don't get me wrong, you're a uh, you got unique views, but my dude. Like, how, why do you sell your soul? He, he sold his soul to Merrick. I swear to, I swear to the three Egyptian god cards. He sold his soul to the Shadow Realm. This guy. What the heck? What the heck? Don't forget to support me and this guy. All right, I'm out.